हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम आशीष त्रिपाठी फाइनल ईयर स्टूडेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग ब्रांच फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट पॉलिटेक्निक मुंबई टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म अ प्रैक्टिकल ऑफ स्टडी स्टैटिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ ट्राइक एज यू कैन सी हियर फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट द फर्स्ट पिन इज मेन टर्मिनल एम टी वन देन सेकेंड इज एम टी टू एंड द थर्ड पिन इज गेट सो माई फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द सर्किट डायग्राम टू प्लॉट वी आई कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ ट्राइक मोड वन यू कैन सी द वी जी दैट इज गेट वोल्टेज वी हैव गिवेन फाइव वोल्ट वी विल रेगुलेट दिस वोल्टेज बाय दिस पोटेंशियो मीटर वी विल गिव फ्रॉम जीरो टू फाइव वोल्ट टू द गेट नाउ यू कैन सी दिस इज द रेजिस्टेंस अप्लाइड इन सीरीज विद द एमीटर टू गेट नाउ आफ्टर दैट यू कैन सी द एम एम टी वन एंड एम टी टू दीज आर द टू टर फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड टर्मिनल वी विल अप्लाई अ वोल्ट मीटर पैरल अक्रॉस द एम टी वन एंड एम टी टू टू मेजर द वी वन टू आफ्टर दैट वी हैव सीरीज रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ वन किलो ओम विद एम टी टू एंड आफ्टर दैट एन एमीटर इज अप्लाइड इन सीरीज विद द रेजिस्टेंस दैट इज लोड रेजिस्टेंस वन किलो ओम एंड आफ्टर दैट वी हैव अ पावर सप्लाई ऑफ जीरो टू थर्टी वोल्ट सो फ्रेंड्स द सर्किट कमिंग टू द गेट इज कॉल्ड कंट्रोल सर्किट एंड द सर्किट कमिंग टू द एम टी वन एंड एम टी टू इज कॉल्ड पावर सो माई फ्रेंड्स एज यू कैन सी द ट्राइक इज अ थ्री टर्मिनल बाई डायरेक्शनल सेमी कंडक्टर डिवाइस अनलाइक एस सी आर इट कंडक्ट्स इन बोर्ड डायरेक्शन इट्स थ्री टर्मिनल आर एम टी वन एम टी टू एंड गेट आई हैव टेल यू इन ए प्रीवियस Now you can see this is a triac is equivalent to a CR connected in opposite with a common gate. Now triac can operate in following modes: the A, B, C, and D. Mode one MT two positive with respect to MT one. Mode two MT two positive and gate negative with respect to MT one. Mode three is MT two negative gate positive with respect to MT one. And the mode four is MT two negative and gate negative with respect to MT one. so the supply voltage will be shown by this supply and the voltage across the triac terminals will be shown by this multimeter and the current through the load is shown by this multimeter now we will increase the voltage to 10 volt for the reading so uh, it's the voltage you can see it's a 10.2 volt supply voltage and the voltage across the triac terminals is 10.3 10.2 and the current is 0 milliampere when we will switch to the its uh, range to microampere we are getting 10.2 microampere range you can see this is the current 10.2 microampere that is very negligible current now we will go to for 15 volts you can see this 15 volt and the voltage across the triac terminal is equal to the supply voltage and the supply voltage is 15.4 and the current through the load is 15.6 microampere now we will increase the voltage to 20 volt you can see the supply voltage and the triac voltage is exactly same and the current is 19.9 microampere now we will go to 25 volts it's a 25 volts and the triac terminal voltage is also same and the current is 26.8 microampere now we will increase it to 30 volts you can see it's a 29.3 we will increase it's a 30 volt and the voltage across the track terminal is 30 and the current is 30.7 microampere so uh, we know that from this practical we get the conclusion that the supply voltage is exactly equals to the triac voltage because this triac is in off state and when the triac is in off state you can see the voltage across the triac is equals to the supply voltage so the conclusion after the blocking mode practical we get 
the voltage across the triac terminal is equal to supply voltage the current through the load is very low that is in microamps and the voltage across the load is zero in the blocking mode so friends now we will give the gate voltage to the gate of the triac terminal you can see we are increasing the pot potentiometer and we will vary the voltage now these two multimeters are v12 and it now we will increase the voltage to trigger the triac you can see now the voltage across the triac terminal is 0 0.7 that means the triac is triggered when the voltage across the triac terminal is 0 0.7 it means triac triggered and you can see the current is micro ampere range so we will change to milli ampere because the current is high now that when the triac is triggered the current goes to maximum now you can see the current is 10 milli ampere and the voltage is 0 0.7 but the supply voltage is 10.5 volt and the current is 10.3 milli ampere so we will check the load voltage voltage across the load it's 9.86 so you can see the supply voltage and the load voltage is now equal in the previous there was a vo supply voltage and the voltage across the terminal was equal but now the voltage across the load and supply voltage are equal and the voltage across the track terminal is 0 0.7 and the current is 10 micro ampere now we will further increase this voltage you can see we are giving 15 volts but the voltage across the track terminal is 0 0.7 and the current is 15 milli ampere and we will check the load vo voltage it's 14.7 volts so we will go to 20 volts you can see the voltage across the triac terminal is 0 0.7 and the current is 19.63 milli ampere and we will measure the load voltage and the load voltage is 19.18 volts you can see there is no change now we will we will go to 20 it's 30 volts maximum and we are seeing that there is no change in the triac voltage it's a voltage across the triac terminal is 0 0.7 triggered voltage and it's a 31.1 milliampere current through the load and the voltage across the load is 20, 30 volt so friends what conclusion we got after the practical is the voltage across the track terminal is 0 0.7 after gate is triggered the voltage across the load is approximately equal to the supply voltage and the current flowing through the load is in milliamperes